The drug of choice for a proven strep throat, that means where the culture comes back, group A, right? Strep, cock to caucus. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the drug of choice? It's still penicillin. Or oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Mm -hmm. You said penicillin. Or it's first cousins. Most What's commonly nowadays amoxicillin. Only because it's cheaper, it's but it's cheaper, a little more broad, but, but it's accepted. But here's the problem. I write for penicillin liquid on weekends. I get calls from pharmacies. We don't stock the liquid, the tablets. Mm -hmm. I got a problem. So either I go to amoxicillin, mm -hmm. or sometimes I use a first-generation cephalosporin, which is acceptable. Not a second or third, because the first generations are fifteen dollars. Mm -hmm. Penicillin is probably eight to ten dollars cost. Amoxicillin is probably ten dollars. So it's a very treatable disease for a cup of a couple of lantes. You treat the disease. Is that correct? Yes. And um, but why are doctors using two hundred dollar antibiotics? Um, marketing. <laughs> and oh, wait, 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 wait. What's the straight? They're right. using it because the drug salesman left some samples, brought you lunch, offered you some Broadway tickets. That's not the reason. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it's it's entirely that because I don't think doctors are that easily bribed. But what is a selling point in some of these newer medications is once daily dosing, good taste, palatability, you know, is, and uh, and so then doctors start to perceive again not done in a scientific rigorous manner that fewer parents call back to say my kid you know spat the medicine out because you gave antibiotic X uh, and then it kind of gains the popularity of life of its own and so then we see this phenomenon for a few years one of is typically the cephalosporins is the kind of ruling antibiotic and uh, everybody thinks that's the best one to use because it's best tolerated by children. Well what bothers me is and it says come from one of the drug companies Pushing an antibiotic, a macrolog, is a drug of choice for penicillin. I said, where's your study? There's no place it says it is. Mm -hmm. And there was a study published uh, a few years ago uh, in pediatric. No, it was no, it was in the New Journal of Medicine saying that Zifromax was 48% resistant against strep infections. And I didn't see a, a, a letter from the Center of Disease Control, the FDA, saying that we should be very careful and still go back right. to penicillin, penicillin and not the macrolides because mm -hmm. ease of dose is not a reason to use it. Yeah. It's a drug that works. Thanks. And yet, it took a life of its own, as you know. I never wrote for Zifromax because I couldn't find a reason for it. Maybe there is some, but not for penicillin, and not for a strep throat that penicillin tree. Is that correct? That's right. And again, it's because you can't beat the convenience of a once daily dosing given only for, say, five days. And that uh, ends up being, even if they don't actively promote it anymore, it's a self promoting marketing. I get kids who come to me from other doctors that were on five days, which yeah. it's really 10 days because it lasts for five days afterward. And I get a throat culture, kid's still sick, it's still positive. Mm -hmm. On the fifth day, almost anything is going to be negative, it was still positive. And I try to explain to the parents that it didn't work. Yeah, it could be resistant, or the, the child could be a carrier, and therefore, you know, you've treated the symptomatic part. This is a kid, this, this is a sick Six. kid, exudate, 102, 50. We're not right. talking a casual positive throat culture. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there is concern that you should still go back the cheapest, most effective, and safest drug that's been around with a good track record and, before you have some of the new stuff. And is one that? to which the group based strep has never developed resistance yet. It just has not acquired that me mechanism to be able to get penicillin resistant, fortunately.